Seven reasons to never ever visit Nepal. Yes, you heard that right. You see, I've been in this country for the last 14 and a half years and I feel I'm experienced enough now to finally be able to talk about this topic. A lot of people talk about how great a tourist destination Nepal is. But I beg to differ. Over the years, so many of my friends and cousins, enticed by my wonderful words about this country, have visited Nepal. However, today I'd like to say, you must never ever visit Nepal and in this video, I'll tell you exactly why. Reason number one, the weather. You see, I grew up in a horribly hot and sultry city. For us, every single day was a free sauna. There was so much of chip chip and sweat on our bodies that we were just used to it. The day I came to Nepal, I remember I got out of the airplane and I felt, wow, this is wonderful. How pleasant and amazing the weather was. But I thought, it can't always stay like this. Of course, it can't be so good. But it was. Every day, the weather just got better and better. But if you, like me, sometimes miss that sweat, sometimes miss those free saunas, and sometimes miss that feeling of grime and dirt and heat, never ever visit Nepal. Reason number two, natural beauty. You see, I grew up in a city, in a crowded city. The only view I ever got from my toilet window was the other person's toilet window. That's how I grew up. But when I came to Nepal for the first time, I remember waking up one morning and seeing a beautiful view of snow-capped Himalayas as I was brushing my teeth. I was completely shocked. The mountains were beautiful and they beckoned me. The natural beauty of this country is unparalleled. A few years ago, when we were traveling to Europe, a friend of mine suggested, let's go to Switzerland. I said, Switzerland? I don't need to go to Switzerland. I stay in Nepal. We have higher mountains. We have more untouched natural beauty. But if you don't want that kind of arrogance in your life, don't ever visit Nepal. Reason number three, biodiversity. While Nepal occupies 0.1% of the total global area, it has 3.2% of the total flora and 1.1% of the total fauna of the world. What does that mean? That means that while we have a small area, we have a huge biodiversity. You get to see a variety of things here from a snow leopard to beautiful varieties of butterflies. I have personally seen some intricate, colorful and absolutely magical looking butterflies here. I've also seen a huge variety of birds, most of whom, unfortunately, I cannot even name. But here is where it gets even more better. If you want to support your local zoo, if you want to see animals caged up, don't visit Nepal. Because in Nepal, animals live in the jungles, they roam free and they live in their natural habitat. So if you want to support your local zoo, never ever visit Nepal. Reason number four, heritage. As I stand here today shooting this video, I'm standing at Patandabar Square, which was built in the mid-17th century. That is the power of the heritage we have. But you know what? Patandarbar Square isn't the only one. In Kathmandu Valley itself, there are seven World Heritage Sites as listed by the UNESCO. What does that mean? We have a huge heritage of absolutely majestic and beautiful buildings built long, long ago. And the other crazy thing is that in Kathmandu, you can take a mountain flight to see the highest mountain of the world and then go to visit one of the oldest Hindu temples in the world and then visit one of these Darbar squares all before lunch. But that also means that you'll get really bored for the rest of the day, right? So, if you don't want to get bored for the rest of the day after having seen so many beautiful things early in the morning, please, please, please don't visit Nepal. Reason number five, culture. Nepal has a variety of people from different ethnicities and there are 123 languages spoken here. However, according to me, the most beautiful thing about the culture of this country is the vibrant clothes and the amazing festivals they have. Did you know that there's a special day in the calendar where they felicitate and celebrate dogs? Well, that is the beauty of the festivals of Nepal. Please don't visit Nepal because you'll be tempted to get out of your hotel room and enjoy the beautiful culture and the streets of this city and that way you might also miss your TV schedule. So please don't visit Nepal if you don't want to miss all the amazing shows that are coming on your television. Reason number six, food. As a vegetarian, my exposure to the food culture of Nepal was very limited until a short while ago. 
I believed that Nepali food basically was dal, bhat, vegetables and a char. And also of course our favourite, the acquired taste from Tibet, momos, which we had accepted as our own. However, recently I was working on a coffee table book documenting the food culture of one particular family. And I realised they had over 130 varieties of their own food. What does that tell me? That tells me that every group, every ethnicity in Nepal has its own food culture. Here, you can try anything from a variety of cheeses to Tibetan food to yak blood to a variety of vegetables cooked in many, many different ways. Each of these comes with their own flavours, their own smells, their own aroma and their own stories. Therefore, please don't visit Nepal if you don't want to get spoilt by the variety of food we have. Reason number seven. I've lived in Nepal for such a long time that I've realized that its people are my favorite reason for being in this country. You see, when we think about Nepal, we think about the brave Gurkhas of the country. However, truth be told, the ordinary man is absolutely no less. They are brave and they are heroes as well. In fact, each one of them will go out of their way to help you. They're resilient and while they've seen a lot of hardships, there will always be a smile on their faces. In fact, sometimes I also feel that the smile on their faces is because they have seen those hardships and the fact that they're willing to help people is because they've seen so much in their lives. The people here are extremely hospitable. One namaste and they'll share their stories and their food with you without a flinch. So, if you don't want to get spoiled by the hospitality and the love and the joy and the smiles, please don't visit Nepal. In conclusion, I'd just like to say, Nepal isn't a great tourist destination. Because it's true, the moment you step in here, you stop feeling like a tourist. It always feels like home. Another thing about Nepal is, it's not just a vacation, it's an experience. You can check out any time you want, but you can never ever leave. And you know what? You might lose your way in the meandering streets of our cities or in our high mountains but I'm sure you'll discover yourself again. And I'd just like to conclude by saying this, what I tell absolutely everybody who wants to visit Nepal, please, please, please never ever visit Nepal because you may never ever want to leave.